The wild fluctuations on Wall Street are starting to scare consumers away from making major purchases. I'm waiting an extra year. Normally I purchase a car every three years. I'm waiting till next year. Traffic is also expected to be down on major appliances as many people are pulling back, waiting to see where the turmoil ends. Contemplating getting a new air conditioner. It's kind of riding out. It's the end of its life, but I'm going to wait. I'm just being careful. Don't want to drain my savings. This is not a good time for this. Glinda Bridgeforth has written three books on personal finances. She says the volatility in the market it is a good wake-up call. You need to look at what your debt level is. I think you need to look at how much you have in savings. For certain reasons, I think that, you know, again, it's important to not panic, not withhold unnecessarily. However, she reminds us that for people who already have their finances in order, there are some bargains available. If your financial situation is somewhat stable, I think this is a good opportunity because there are some good buys out there right now in terms of homes. This man is actively looking to buy a house. The housing market has went down the last two or three years. So it's easy for you, a, a renter, to go and buy a home. It's easy. And a lot of people are getting rid of their houses due to the star market, and I'm looking to purchase a home. Bridgeforth told us today the most important thing is to not panic. Don't stop spending entirely because that would bring the economy to a screeching halt. In Detroit, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7, Action News.